On topic for today's episode, we are going to talk about fossils. Fossils have been found on every continent on the United States, even in Antarctica. What are fossils? How do we know the dinosaurs even existed? Well, we know from evidence. Evidence from fossils. Dinosaur bones can be found scattered over a large area, and scientists must then figure out how they are fit together. Dinosaur skeletons are very much like bird and reptile skeletons, which helps to work out which bone goes where. The Tyrannosaurus rex lived 65 to 85 million years ago. It is now extinct, gone forever, from the Earth. But its story, including how it lived and what it ate, remains forever in the fossils that it left behind. A fossil is any evidence or remains of an organism that once lived on Earth. Fossils are clues that are found in rocks, amber, tar, or ice. Fossils are storytellers in a sense, in that they give us information about how plants and animals lived long, long ago. Fossils can also tell us about where and how the plants and animals lived. Fossil plants are usually fossils of parts of the plant, rather than the whole thing. They include leaves, flowers, cones, bark, and wood. Fossils are found within sedimentary rock layers. There are many different types of fossils. First, let's talk about trace fossils. Trace fossils do not contain plants or animals, but rather an impression made by plant or animal activity. As I track across this mud, I'm leaving tracks. This is an example of a trace fossil. Next, let's talk about mold fossils. A mold fossil is a hollow space in the exact shape of the organism. Here you can see an example of a mold fossil. Next, let's talk about cast fossils. A cast fossil is formed when sand, mud, or minerals harden inside a mold. Here is an example of a cast fossil. Sometimes fossils can be found in amber. What is amber? Amber is a hard substance made from the hardened sap of some evergreen trees. Here you can see many examples of fossils that are encapsulized by amber. What are tar pits? Thousands of fossils are buried in tar pits. These sticky pools of black tar trapped animals. Eventually they'd sink to the bottom of the tar pit. Although most fossils in tar pits are bones, some complete animals have been perfectly preserved. Is it possible to find fossils encased in ice? Well, if you want to preserve some kind of food, well, what do you do? You put them in the freezer. Earth has a gigantic freezer, the great sheets of ice that are found around the North Pole. Scientists have found now extinct giant woolly mammoths and furry rhinoceroses perfectly preserved in ice. A paleontologist is a scientist who studies fossils. So what kind of tools does a paleontologist use? Well, they use a brush, shovel, a trowel, chisel, a pick hammer, a magnifying glass, they keep a book for notes and record keeping, they keep a pencil with them, and a compass just so they know where they're going. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest boards. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos. And head over to our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.